Karibu tena double updates popote pale ulipo mtazamaji wangu. Mimi na Tumai unaendelea vizuri kabisa. Ni Double J na kama kawaida hii hapa ni ulimwengu wa siasa. Kwa mfuatiliaji wa channel yetu anakumbuka jana tulipiga hapa story kaa tunazungumzia swala la ufisadi. Tukakubaliana kwamba kama kuna kitu ambacho kina uwezo mkubwa kabisa wa kukwamisha inchi au kukwamisha ukuaji wa inchi ni ufisadi tukatoa mpaka mifano e, nadhani kuna ripoti ambayo ilikuwa imetolewa na ECC ikielezea tu sehemu ambapo a, ufisadi unafanyika sana wakao pia specific na tukaona watu ambao walikuwa naongoza kwenye swala la a, ufisadi ni maafisa wa polisi hongo nini a, tukaangalia pia maofisi za serikali Uh, tukaangalia vitu vingi sana mtazamaji wangu. So kwa bahati nzuri leo nilikuwa nafuatilia Senate. Huwa napenda sana kuwasikiliza hawa watu uh, kwa sababu kuna vitu vingine ambavyo huwa huwa ni vya muhimu sana wanazungumza kule. So ikawa wanazungumzia swala la ufisadi pia. And a very big shout out to Cheryl Gay kwa sababu yani tukiachana na siasa na sometimes kutokuwa serious na nini, leo kazungumza point muhimu sana. Jana niliwauliza tunatakiwa kulaumu nani? Unanipata tunatakiwa kulaumu na tunatakiwa kulaumu nani sasa hapo kuna rais kuna IECC ambao ndo wanaangalia uh, masuala hayo kuna wananchi kuna wafanyakazi wa serikali kuna watu wengi sana so cheragea na point na sitazungumzia point yake sana kwa sababu na yeye ameizungumzia in a way that wewe unaweza ukaelewa zaidi so hakuna haja ni kuelezea kitu ambacho amezungumza sasa mimi nitakuwekea tu hiyo video hapo uitazame cheragea kwa ufupi anasema IECC inatakiwa kulaumiwa sana kwa sababu IECC ndio ina nguvu ya kufuatilia kaunti fulani fulani kuna kesi ya fedha fulani fulani ambayo haikutumiwa vizuri au ilitumiwa vibaya so msha siku wao ndo wanatakiwa kufuatilia kama ni mtu kwa kamatwa na kamatwa kama ni kesi kupelekwa mbele itazidi unanipata lakini sasa tatizo ni kwamba EACC e, e, itapata ripoti lakini sasa EACC wale pia ni watu sio ECC usidani eti ni kitu fulani eti ni watu tu ni wananchi tu ambao pia wamepewa nafasi kwenye hizo Uh, afisi. Kwa utakuta kwamba wao wataconnect moja kwa moja na gavana au hata kama ni seneta yeyote ambaye kesi na mhusu. So wakiconnect unakuta kwamba vitu vinakuwa exchange hapa huyu anampa mwingine pesa au huyu anam... yani unaona hivyo afu unakuta kwamba kesi inaisha. Kwa mwisho siku ukiangalia vizuri wale ambao wanatakiwa kulaumiwa ni hawa ESCC kwa sababu ESCC wasipoishughulikie ina maanisha itaendelea. Kwa wao <laughs> you can imagine tunazungumzia corruption alafu sehemu ambapo inatakiwa kushughulikia corruption ndo sasa inahusika kwenye corruption ya kugeuka au wanahusisha au wanajihusisha kwenye corruption ya kuachana na <laughs> kufuata anayefanya hiyo corruption so msha siku tunashindwa uh, hata ku move on na kufanya vitu ambavyo vinatakikana msha siku ndo hivyo uh, corruption ufisadi unaendelea unaendelea and kwa sababu hatuna sehemu Uh, tunaweza tukafanya nini? Tunaweza tukategemea when it comes to swala la ufisadi, mtu amefanya nini, mtu amepoteza pesa fulani au mtu amekula uh, pesa fulani. Yaani hatuna njia ya kuifuatilia. Lakini after ESC, mimi nadhani tutakao pia kuwalaumu uh, um, viongozi kwenye ngazi za juu akina William Samoito kwa sababu wale wana uwezo wa kufika hata hiyo ESC na waambie jamani kesi fulani fulani vipi tulisikiliza ABCD ripoti ni gani swala la kurudi nyuma ya tent na kumalizana sio na gavana ambaye amepoteza bilioni sifi ngapi au ameiba bilioni ngapi hai make sense yani wale kama wanaweza kukaa strict kidogo inaweza ikasaidia sana but i think uh, chargey ana kila detail kuhusu uh, ufisadi and watu wanatakiwa kumsikiliza so wacha nikupe nafasi umtazame au umsikilize hapa uh, chair gay mwanzo mwisho lakini ukimaliza hakikisha kwamba una subscribe kwa ajili ya kuendelea kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati ni pia asante kwa kila mtu ambaye siku zote tunakuwa uh, pamoja hapa kwa wewe mgeni Um, hakikisha kwamba una subscribe by the way hakikisha kwamba una subscribe unaweza ka like pia video kwa sababu like uh, ndo kabisa tuna move uh, on vizuri si ndio sawa tukutane kwenye video ambayo inafuata enjoy Mr. Speaker. So speaker on the issue of conflict of interest i know at the amendment stage i would like proper elaboration but i know when the jaila committee will table a report we should also look at their report so that we look at the definition of what is conflict of interest it should not only you in the pub even somebody who is a chief or mukasa that was or a lecturer or a pastor so speaker we, you know there was a pastor who was taking a due advantage that video went viral 
and uh, he's saying they were chasing his spirits in some areas that I cannot mention because this is PG. It is parliamentary guided uh, event, Mr. Speaker. So, Speaker, on the issue of unexplained asset, uh, this is very important. I know there is well declarations that we normally do as public officers, but we want these issues to be taken seriously. Mr. So Speaker, somebody cannot tell us today that he is worth a million, but after staying in an office two to three years down the line, is what is a dollar billionaire, Mr. Speaker. As a country, we must take these issues seriously. Every wealth, even if you buy a watch, a, a car, a property, what any how much, Mr. Speaker, we must tell us as a public official. Because in this country, we are aware of people who are using their offices to enrich themselves, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, Mr. Speaker, we cannot uh, be, be gerrymandering on the issue of serious on the fight against corruption. So, Speaker, ESCC has been given a function. So, Speaker, I have little faith in ESCC. You know, I've sat in county public accounts. Senator Ladama has sat in public county accounts. A number of my colleagues have sat in county public accounts. We have made many recommendations, Mr. Speaker, for other bodies like ESCC, Mr. Speaker, to do follow-up, to prosecute governors, county officials who continue to pilferage our resources, Mr. Speaker. It is very unfair... For, in fact, I am aware that ESCC might be struggling with capacity, with issues of resource allocation, but they have never uh, shown a proof, Mr. Speaker, to, 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 to tell us what they have done. The last report when I was the chair, jailer, Mr. Speaker, you was truly in the last issue. The only conviction ESCC had achieved when they tabled the report in that, in that year, and it caused a huge uproar in the floor of the House, was convicting somebody who had taken a bribe of 20,000 shillings somewhere in Eldoret. So, Speaker, the fight of any election can be, uh, el not election, sorry. The fight, uh, you know, elections are still very far. The, the fight against corruption, Mr. Speaker, and larceny and graft and plundering of natural resources will only be won if one or two. I remember there was a gentleman who told us at that time, that he was not going for small fish or a menace. He was going for big fish. He ended up nothing on the plate, Mr. Speaker. This is very unfortunate. So the fight against corruption, with this enriching of this bill that has been pointed by Senate Majority Leader Aaron Cheruyot, is, is a bill that should be supported by all and sundry so that we fight corruption in this country. Mr. Speaker. And I want to challenge EACC. Most senators here tell us, and even when we work in the villages, I have seen the motion by Senator Ledama Olakina on pending bills. How can pending bills be there when you go to National Treasury? Money has been dispersed. It means it has been stolen. So what is the SEC doing about it? Nothing. When they are reported, they go and call the governors or anybody who has been accused of corruption and see them new my attend. Mr. Speaker, we are even aware on COB control of budget. And I want them to come clean. Where our county makes a requisition, the controller of budget tells them what do we want to do. They give a schedule. Then they release money to the county after paying certain percentage. And that is why most of the workers, we are having allegations that some of the controller of budget staff are now owning houses in Karen, Runda, Kileleshwa, because they are colluding. And even Dubai, they are having private summer homes, Mr. Speaker. If, Mr. Speaker, because they are colluding with county governments to release money that are made under requisition. And the control of budget, not herself, but some of his, uh, her officers are going rogue. And that is how governors are misusing and plundering resources. So what is the SEC doing about it? Nothing. I saw them releasing a report yesterday saying, uh, I think they say Nyamira is leading in bribery. Which county is leading? Which ministry is leading in bribery? Or corruption allegations? But after releasing a report, what next? The ESCC has never told the country what they are doing in the fight against corruption. Yet, under the Constitution, they have an obligation to fight corruption in this country. Mr. Speaker, we have many laws in the fight, Economic Crimes Act, Mr. Speaker. We have many, many laws against the fight against corruption. The chicken must come home to roost when the ESCC will tell us what they are doing in Machakos, in the fight against corruption, in Kitui, in Makweni, in Nandi, and I told you last time, Nandi is the headquarters of corruption. There is a lot of blundering happening here, and there, but the ESCC have done nothing. We have reported a number of occasions, Mr. Speaker. But what the ESCC does, they go and smile to the camera with the governors and officials. Then they say it's under investigation. Mr. Speaker, 
And I want to challenge you and DPP, the new DPP and ESCC. We must show seriousness, Mr. Speaker. When we go, the other day we have visited a number of counties, Mr. Speaker. I know we'll be visiting Meru soon. When we go there, people will ask you, money has been stolen. So what have you done as a Senate? Our work is to make recommendations. The people who to implement is ESCC and DCI. But what are they doing? There is a, a weak link in the fight against corruption in this republic. And I hope with the, this, the conflict of interest bill, Mr. Speaker, it will assist. And then on the powers investigation, I think ESCC has enough powers. This ESCC is a creation of the Constitution. They are supposed to do their job as per the Constitution. They don't need to get anybody's permission to do their job. What, what is the perception that people believe that ESCC must, must get orders or phone calls? It is them who, in fact, the fight against corruption, my colleague members, in counties to be precise, will not be won so long as the biggest stumbling block in the fight against corruption is ESCC. They have never done something. They can contravene what I've said. They can give us statistics on how many corruption they have found. We remember even in CIA, under the former county government, where air tickets were being paid for private individuals. No one has been prosecuted in CIA. We went to Turkana, the same thing, 100 billion cannot be accounted. A number of occasions, Mr. Speaker. So as a country, as we pass this, I have mixed feelings. Because we have enough legislation, but there is nothing to show for what we have achieved as a country in the fight against corruption. Mr. Speaker, I agree with, of course, declaration, standing order 104, conflict of interest, Mr. Speaker, conflict of uh, avoiding our obligation, Mr. Speaker. The third point is, uh, I wonder, is preferential treatment. That is more than obvious. And due influence, that is... Sorry, I can see there is an intervention, meaning a point of order from Senator Maratian Ezena. What is your point of order, Senator? Mr. Senator? Speaker, I think uh, Senator Charage should uh, substantiate the claims that TACC receives phone calls. Thank you. Senator, Senator Charage. Mr. Speaker, I, I thought as if they are receiving phone calls, as if. I'm guided by the answer to if it is contrary, because I say as if they are receiving. As if it's maybe. I didn't say shall. So I think that is what I meant. Mr. Speaker, and I thank my sister, Mr. Speaker, you know she's doing a good job, and maybe she wants something in Samburu County in future. Mr. Speaker, on the issue of gifts and other benefits, I think these are law that was there, uh, of, uh, economic crimes in two or three, you pass. At least you have been around these corridors, and you know this law, where you are given gifts. Even as a speaker, he will welcome you, I don't know at which level, you know, when you come to my home and I give you as a friend, I don't know whether you should declare because I can give you a cow. That is the highest respect in my community we can do. So I don't know whether you'll donate the cow to the Senate or what happens because you are a public official. Those are some of the issues J. Luck through Senator Sigay will, will, will give us a headway as we progress, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, on complementary treatment, we are aware there are some organizations when they need tenders, the sponsor, I remember the issue of tobacco scandal, and may the soul of uh, the late Jakoyo Mediwa rest in peace. And you remember that committee was taken to, to, by tobacco uh, to Mombasa uh, for treatment so that they could, no, they could pass a law that was impeding the issue of tobacco companies. And I remember the images where members of parliament were swimming along the beaches of Mombasa, and I know Senator Miraj understands uh, what, what those Mombasa beaches and what happens there. Mr. So speaker, on the issue of contracts with public entities prohibited, I think under open governance, and I want to ask members, when we will be launching a caucus for open governance program, Mr. Speaker, which will sanction OGP, I want to invite members to attend that breakfast meeting on 16 so that they can learn what we mean by what we call beneficial ownership of companies, uh, contributional obligation and the fight against corruption. Mr. Speaker, you have to note, Senate has taken a lead in having what we call Senate Disc on open governance uh, program. And I know Senator, Senators who are here understand what OGP means. We are trying to push for accountability, legislative integrity, legislative openness, and Mr. Speaker, contractual obligation and benefit of an ownership being open through open governance program. And I want to thank you, Mr. Speaker, and your office for allowing that caucus to be established. 
I know these are some of the things we have been pushing in that caucus to ensure that we have what we call obligations, Mr. Speaker. Where, most where corruption happens, Mr. Speaker, is during procurement processes. I think that's where corruption starts from. I remember there was a CS, uh, not a CS, an ambassador of America, I don't know his name, I forgot. He said Kenya loses around 700 billion through budgeted corruption. I don't know, we, it was around 2020, I think an ambassador of US, he made it in media. So Speaker, we need to be careful, and I remember when we were looking through budgetary process and many others, so that we look at it, procurement is where issues happen to the Speaker. In conflict of recruitment, I know whenever KDF and other people are recruiting, Mr. Speaker, we hear parents complaining that they are paid 300,000, 200. You have seen even here in, in, um, in Eldoret, RTS training school, here in Eldoret. You normally see before reporting of the recruits, you see a number of young people being taken to court because they are fake recruitment, KDF recruitment letters. I'm happy it has been captured to protect our people, who, Mr. Speaker, they unknowingly give out 100,000. I know the primary act says punish the briber and the bribee. Fun, punish the, the, the bribing, the briber and the bribee, Mr. Speaker. I know that's what the primary act is. The one who gives out and the one receives. The bribe, Mr. Speaker, I, the, the English there is a bit a problem, but I know members understand what, what I mean. It is the one who receives and who takes the law punishes them equally. Mr. Speaker, on the conflict, Mr. Speaker, on the conflict of interest and the recruitment, Mr. Speaker, please. finally, Mr. Speaker, allow me to say this in support of this conflict of interest bill. Mr. Speaker, government officers should be aware that part of the work we do is to openly, and the courts have ruled, Mr. Speaker, any public officer is subject to open criticism and constructive criticism, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, you are aware I'm in court for only representing my people and speaking out and raising serious issues, Mr. Speaker. The law has ruled, and senior counsel like Danson Mahanso will agree with me, and even our, our, our junior learned friends, it's a, uh, Senator Rafael Chimera, will agree, Mr. Speaker, that any public official does not have limitation, Mr. Speaker, in terms of criticism. So I find it odd and weird that if Senator Cherarge Sorry, can be Senator sued Chalagay, for speaking about roads. Okay. Senator Chimera. Make it quick. Speaker, I on the standing order one of five, Mr. Speaker. Is the I rise under standing order 105, Mr. Speaker. Is uh, Senator Fonandi, Senator Cherage, uh, factual by stating that I'm his junior in person, Mr. Speaker? He was admitted the other day, I think in 2020, Mr. Speaker. I have practiced law for over six years, Mr. Speaker. So he's actually my junior, Mr. Speaker, and not what he's trying to say, Mr. Speaker. Whatever he's saying is misleading the house, Mr. Speaker. Can he clarify, Mr. Speaker? I'm actually a senior in practice. And withdraw and apologize, Mr. Speaker. Maybe I request both of you to bring your uh, certificates of admission <laughs> I did. so that I can make the determination. <laughs> but if you, I, I, if I use my physically, you, you look junior to him, but maybe not academically. Mr. Speaker, I, maybe I'm, I'm, I can't get factual. So on the statement of Act 105, since I don't, I don't know when he was admitted, allow me to, to withdraw that part called junior and call him my learned friend. Mr. Speaker, but you don't need to question uh, Justice and Legal Affairs Chairman Emeritus, Mr. Speaker. Because by the fact that I'm the Chair Emeritus of JLAC, that surpasses anything else, Mr. Speaker. It means I've seen a lot in the practice, Mr. and I'm senior. In fact, under LSK, I should have been given senior counsel by the virtue of being a JLAC Emeritus Chair when this country was undergoing a lot of challenges, including the issue of BBI. And we stood tall, Mr. Speaker. I know that suit, Mr. Speaker, is trying to intimidate and cow me not to oversight the work people are doing. But we are going to come back better, bigger, and with a bang, Mr. Speaker. I want to assure you, take my word, Mr. Speaker. With those very many remarks, I beg to support this bill and see the, the, the fruitation, fr 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 Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much. You see, and I take you one to the bank. Okay, before we proceed with the
with the debate on this, uh, this bill, I want to give uh, Senate, uh, the chair, the, the, the chair justice and the legal affairs committee to table this, the report on this bill so that uh,